All right, so how can you guys travel absolutely free? What's going on everybody? Your boy Juan Valdez coming at you guys with another video and today we're gonna be talking about how you can travel for absolutely free. For those of you guys that are brand new to my channel, welcome on over. This is the VFAM. The VFAM is a community and a family and a movement of people that are striving to do a lot more than what society is out for us to do and that includes how to travel for free. The society definitely doesn't want you to travel for free, I'm telling you guys. For those of you guys that are brand new, of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the VFAM. You know, you guys let me know. If you guys want to see a lot more videos on credit, travel hacking, and a whole lot more, of course, make sure you, you drop a like on this video and of course, you know, drop a comment. Let me know what within credit specifically or what within travel hacking specifically you guys want to know more about. Just to give you guys some background, I've been travel hacking for about a year now um, I didn't uh, really d realize how much of a actual thing travel hacking is probably within the last year or so after I met up with you know some friends of mine you guys probably saw one of my videos with my boy Steven that dude is an absolute king when it comes to travel hacking and credit and all that great stuff but uh, after speaking with him that's when I figured out that it was actual like a travel hacking was like a thing that people really like you know master learn how to do so I figured why not start sharing some of those things with you guys so again I've been taking advantage for you know free points that I've been getting you know with the help of obviously my e-commerce and drop shipping business for about a year or so now and you know pretty much for the last year or so me and my business partners to me have not paid for any flights and that's because of course we've been able to learn different things of how to utilize different credit cards and points and all that great stuff so you guys are gonna get to learn that along the way so when it comes down to it when it comes down to crap you know travel hacking and Ma, please, ma, no, hallelujah, please. When it comes down to travel hacking and utilizing, you know, different points and just taking advantage of credit cards and offers that they have put together, it's actually super simple, right? Um, obviously, like, you know, it takes some time to learn it, but it's not like rocket science, right? It's not like you have to, you try to launch a rock, a car to the moon, how Elon Musk did. So that's obviously the next level. This is not. So I know a lot of you guys watching, a lot of you guys probably like to travel, I mean, you know, who doesn't like to travel? There's some people that don't, but I would say a good portion of people love to travel, so why not? First thing you wanna know when it comes down to, you know, credit cards and travel hacking is how do credit cards make their money, right? And that's pretty super important to know because obviously there's a reason why you get to do things and take advantage of different systems and promotions because obviously the credit cards, they're giving these promotions and offers, but they're still making money. So obviously they make money from people that take advantage, use their credit card, max them all out, and only pay like the minimum you know, minimum payments and end up rolling over their credit balance to the next month and then they get charged interest or the, the bank charges them interest and that's how they make money, right? So from regular people just like us that just overcharge our credit cards, don't pay it all off, you know, they charge us interest and that's obviously how they make their money. They also, also do make their money off of yearly fees but those, usually the main one is interest and I would say right after that, you know, is yearly fees. That's just like the level that it kind of goes on. So how do they get more customers day in and day out? Because of course, like these guys, you know, banks obviously are huge corporations and they're not just like letting anybody borrow money. They're not struggling to get customers. Like they have a ton of customers. Like how they do, how do they do it? Now they have specific ways that they get customers. They offer sign up bonuses. And the way that these work is like, you know, they'll offer someone like a specific amount of points with a specific airline if they sign up and spend a certain amount of money that's how you know it's one of the main ways how they attract new customers how they got me as a customer and that's how they may have gotten you guys as a potential customer already uh with these sign up bonuses again the way that it works is it once you if usually they make it so that you know once you spend a certain amount usually maybe like a thousand dollars you can get the bonus so at least you're spending some kind of money with them right so that's how they first incentivize you guys of course they're leading with reward it's all my marketing and psychology you lead with reward and of course it's going to attract more customers obviously they give you guys they give us something so that they can get so of course you know they'll give us those points or cash back or airfare whatever the case may be now they do that in hope that of course you guys are we're gonna stay with the credit card utilize the credit card month after month and after a while you know we'll have some months where we'll slip up and we won't pay the balance out in full and in return you know obviously they'll take charges the interest and that's how they'll make the money again you want to make sure you guys are making smart decisions because if you guys don't watch out and you end up getting lowered into these credit cards and you don't use some of the things we're going to go over you can end up paying you know ridiculously you know high interest fees and not really benefiting at all from the credit card so make sure you guys keep an eye out uh, we'll kind of go over that as well but what you want to do is basically for specific credit cards and we'll kind of go over i'm going to share with you guys one that 
I use and has worked for me. When you have an offer come to you, to come to the table, maybe you get it mailed in. You can even go out there and look for these offers. I'd recommend rather than going with the offers that get mailed into your home, Go out there, do some research online, check out different resources, different websites to check out what are the most popular credit cards, um, specifically for traveling, right? I would start off with those just because, again, for this video, our purpose is to you know learn how to travel for free. So you wanna find out you know, how can you, you know, what are the bonuses for these different credit cards? I would usually map out maybe like two or three uh, different travel credit cards and just look at them, right? See, you know, figure out what's the bonus for this credit card you know maybe it's like a thousand dollars let's say it's a thousand dollars so to not confuse you guys you know figure out what what kind of bonuses the credit card has for example if you have a credit card that they're offering you you know for for your first thousand dollars after you spend it if you spend it within the first three months let's say we'll give you forty thousand travel points right okay cool so your goal is to get this card spend that thousand you know within that time frame that obviously they gave you so you can get obviously the the bonus or reward of course that's the main goal you want to now you want to make sure that after you spend that thousand dollars and you get the reward and the bonus you pay off the balance incomplete uh, usually they do put a specific time frame so it's usually like within the first couple months that if you spend it uh, they'll give you the bonus you know you spend it you pay it off because again if you don't pay it off then what's gonna happen is that again, you're gonna get charged interest and you're gonna end up overpaying, which again is not the goal. Our goal is to take advantage of these points, um, get the offers, pay off the balance in full and keep doing it. We're not only, not only with that card, but with multiple cards, right? So that's the ultimate goal. Cause be, with this strategy, you can profit a ton as long as you do it you know the right way so that's why you want to make sure you guys do it now this strategy is not for people just getting started with credit like I would recommend if you are just getting started with credit learn how to build your credit build it you know first and then look into you know really travel hacking and doing these different things because if you if you start off you know with no credit or low credit trying to do this it may or it may not work because these credit cards again do usually require a minimum credit score and if you don't have the credit score sometimes they'll disqualify you from the bonus start off with the credit cards that are specifically for travel now what you want to do is you want to find the credit cards that give you points towards the airlines that you would actually travel with now for example for me you know, I travel a lot with them between the East Coast and the West Coast, obviously because I have family in Boston and obviously I live in California. So I travel between the East Coast and West Coast. Now I also travel to I also travel to Dominican Republic. I travel to Florida and a lot of these states. So there's a specific airline like for me, like that works very beneficial and works into my favor because this specific airline if I can get points with them, a lot of the flights that I'm gonna be taking is gonna be with them, so it can be very beneficial. You wouldn't wanna not do your research because if you don't, you end up signing up for cards and getting points for airlines that you don't even travel with, so it end up being a complete waste. So of course, you don't wanna do that. So make sure you're looking for uh, cards that give you points and incentives for airlines that you're actually gonna use and benefit. Uh, make sure you research the card, make sure it's not just a random card, you do some research on it, check out you know some of the fees associated with it, the interest rates, uh, things, you know, just the basic things you wanna have an idea of. That way you're not just walking into a credit card, you know, blankly without knowing what's really going on with it. So, you know, make sure you look at all the things like that. Nothing crazy, but just do some research. Don't just like dive into a credit card because it says you get like a $60,000 you know bonus points for signing up with them like a lot of these cards offer you know similar deals so make sure you take an advantage of finding one that makes sense for you this jet blue card here this was my second credit card but it was my first travel credit card that i actually utilize even up to date to travel and this is actually one of my favorite credit cards as of right now uh just because i don't i don't have too many right now but i am planning on getting a lot more but because it's useful for specific places where I travel the most in, it, you know, it's, a, it, it's one of my favorites because of that specifically. If, again, if I wasn't traveling to these places, then it may not as not be as beneficial to me. But in this case, this JetBlue card is hands out one of my favorites. Now, I started using this credit card specifically just to take care of, obviously, uh, different expenses I had at the time. You know, my car payment, uh, groceries. I, I pretty much started paying... Um, all the things that I was already going to pay for rent. So I was already going to pay my rent. Obviously, you can't not pay your rent and get kicked out. I was going to pay my car. Obviously, I wasn't going to lose my BMW. Uh, of course, groceries, we got to all eat. And uh, just some other minor things like gym expenses, things like that. Of course, you know what I'm saying? 
got to hit the gym. So of course I was going to cancel that. So what I started to do is simply all the expenses that I was already going to pay with my, with my debit card, I just replaced it and started paying with my credit card. And for some of you guys, you may or may not be able to do this with some things like maybe your rent, you may not be able to pay with your credit card uh, or maybe a car payment, but find out if you can, because it's going to be huge. I'm telling you guys, this is how I started racking up points for free because I was already going to make you know, these same payments with my debit card. So all I did was put in my JetBlue card instead and I started racking up points instantly. Now I was living in California, so obviously the rent wasn't the cheapest. So I was racking up monthly, like 3000 points, doing absolutely nothing besides paying my rent, which I, was, I was, which I was already gonna do. So you guys can do the exact same thing. To get started, that's how you can actually start getting free points to travel, by taking care of any expenses you were already gonna pay for with a credit card, specifically a credit card that's gonna give you points towards traveling. So that's one of the ways you guys can obviously take advantage of getting these free points. And it's super useful because if you think about it, if you just use a debit card for all your purchases and you have no reward coming back, it's pretty much just like money and points and free flights going to thin air. You want to make sure you're not just going out there and buying random things just to get the points, right? You want to make sure you're mainly taking care of, and you're mainly using that credit card for things that you're already going to pay for. It doesn't make sense to do it if you're going to go out there and buy, you know, let's say, $1,000 of random things just to get the points. And we're going to talk about why it doesn't make sense. You want to make sure if you want to do this the right way, you take advantage of expenses that you're already going to pay for. Now, some of you guys watching, you may have not as high as expenses monthly, or you may have higher expenses monthly. You just think that some people, I've seen some people make, is that they'll get a card, max it all out on random things to get the points, but then the points don't end up making up for, you know, what they just maxed out their card on, like with that whole thousand dollars, let's say. It doesn't make sense. So you want to make sure you're watching out for that. There's various cards that you guys can do this with. Do this with. It's not only with this you know, this JetBlue card, you have American Express, you have all these different other cards that you can do this with. You just wanna make sure you're looking out for some key things all the time, right? You wanna make sure you're also doing the math to make sure that it makes, the numbers make sense with the credit card. And what I mean by that is, if you have a card that's gonna give you 60,000 points, uh, but then you have a $500 annual fee, right? You wanna make sure you're doing the math to see how much a flight to wherever you guys want to fly to actually cost you know with the points you're gonna get to see if it's gonna you know outweigh the annual fee that it has because if the annual fee is gonna be more than the flights that you guys are gonna get to wherever you want to fly to for free then it may not make sense because you're gonna end up paying more in the annual fee even though it's not as likely uh, unless you're like getting really inexpensive flights like maybe a hundred dollar flights but even so with 60,000 points, depending on the airline, that could be you know numerous flights. But I guess it depends on how many, how often you guys are flying. But just make sure that you know the annual fees and the fees associated with the credit cards are not more than the benefit that you're gonna get from the rewards, the cashback, uh, points specifically that you're gonna get for traveling. Because again, it wouldn't make sense at that point. So just make sure you're doing your research. Nothing crazy. Just make sure the numbers are making sense. Credit cards and travel hacking. There's some key things you guys want to keep in mind. You want to make sure that again, you're doing the same cycle with all the different credit cards that obviously have these huge sign up bonuses because um, again, it's a quick way to get free points and travel for free again, because it's not only limited to a JetBlue card. There's tons of cards you guys can do this with. You just want to make sure you're doing it correctly. Now you want to make sure that you're not getting ahead of yourself and you're not just going out there and trying to get all these cards in one go because again, that could do things like affect your credit and a whole lot more. So you want to make sure you do it in a timely manner, uh, split it up within a few months at a time. You want to make sure you're not taking advantage of this strategy if you're just starting to build out your credit because again, uh, if you're just starting to build out your credit and your credit score isn't good, your chances of actually getting, a plot, uh, getting approved for this credit card aren't very high, so of course it would just be a waste of time. Now, you wanna also make sure you're not doing this specific strategy if you're about to, you're getting ready to apply for a huge loan. Usually if you're ready to getting ready to apply for a loan within six to eight months, make sure you're not you know, applying for these credit cards just to get the points because again, the loan, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be worth a lot more than the points you're about to get now. So it's much better to leave this specific travel hack for later on after uh, you get the loan because it's much likely that you know you get approved for it. Pay off the bill on time. If you're not going to control what you're spending, make sure you're not taking advantage of this because I don't want to see people you know going out there and just getting these credit cards to think that they're going to obviously take advantage of the points, but then getting lost in the sauce 
and just racking up a ton of money on these cards and not being able to pay them off later on and then damaging their credit all because they want to get one free flight you know obviously it doesn't make sense to do that you know make sure you guys the travel hack can take advantage of this free opportunity and one resource i would actually recommend to you guys to take advantage of is this website called uh the points guy it's a website just based around travel hacking credit card hacking and a whole lot more uh, it's a website i use to learn a lot of tips and tricks so it's a website that i would recommend for you guys to also take a look at and just kind of learn a lot more about credit you know, credit card hacking, all the different things that there is because there is a lot within credit that you guys can do. If you guys got value from this video, of course, drop a thumbs up, you know, leave me a like on this video and any questions you guys have within credit cards, travel hacking, a whole lot more, you know, make sure you leave me a comment below, let me know. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the V fam, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.